Kansas has its very own Lion King, but the condition of the cats as well as their cages have caused problems in this town. Just hometown people here are always complaining about the animals, the way they're treated, uh, the security of them. But uh, we've had tourists stop in, people that stay or eat out at the Colonial Steakhouse or uh, stay at the hotel there. We've had people come in and talk about how the animals are in small handmade cages that are not safe to the public or for the animals, as far as that goes. Jeffrey Harsh has the Prairie Cat Animal Refuge. He owns Barbary Lions, Siberian Tigers, and Cougars just north of Oakley. Harsh has even owned two black bears, but after one died, the other had to be put down because it was too aggressive. And these exotic animals have caused problems for years with the surrounding area. Well, they, they always say that uh, uh, big cats don't make good pets. A lot of times they do. They're just like house cats. A house cat can turn on you. But you have to know and, and, and know what mood they're in. They're in a bad mood, you don't mess with them. They'll tell you, they can growl at you, hisses. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my! Oh my is right. Jeffrey Harsh is now fighting eight citations because of these lovely animals. The reason for the six citations issued last week is that Harsh doesn't have a license for every animal. He hasn't supplied the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks with written proof of where all the felines came from. Two other citations are being fought in court. They promised me they'd dismiss everything if I would just get rid of all the animals, but we have Barbary lions here, and these have been extinct in a while since 1921. Kansas has more Barbaries than any other state, and I feel as a Kansas citizen, you know, we should keep these animals, and of course we're trying to introduce them back into the wild eventually in Morocco. Harsh also has man-made cages for these animals, which aren't sturdy enough to keep them in. Our agencies uh, helped on a couple incidents. Uh, one, I believe, one animals getting out. The cats haven't been seized by the Department of Wildlife and Parks because it's giving Harsh ample time to produce the documents to prove ownership.